Hello and welcome to the Mod Spotlight for Tinker's Construct. So the first thing you're going to want to do in Tinker's is to make some pans. And you can make those with sticks and some planks. And then you're going to want to make the part builder. You can choose what colour you want the legs to be. So that's to do with what wood type you use. So if you use warp planks, you're going to get the warp plank legs. And we'll put that down. And we also need the Tinker Station. And we'll put that down as well. Could also make the crafting station, which is made with a pattern and some logs. And the cool thing about this is you can place down multiple of them and you'll be able to access each of them in tabs like this. And you'll be able to do the same for these. So if we look at the part builder first, we're going to put some patterns in and we're going to make a pickaxe. So a pickaxe is made with tool rod. It is made with a binding and it is made with a pickaxe head. And then we can go into Tinker Station. Uh, as you can see with the tools we have at the beginning, uh, there's this one. Then we have Matic, we have Pickaxe, Hand Axe, and a Broadsword. So we'll just place these in here. And that still works just how you remember. And you can get your first Pickaxe. All right, let's just go through the basic tools. And these are Tier 1 tools. So the Pickaxe works as you might expect. We have this, we have this thing which is a hoe. Then we have the mattock. The mattock is a shovel. And it also will create paths. Uh, then we also have the hand axe. So you can use that for stripping logs. And obviously as an axe. And then the sword. I think you probably know what that does. So next up, you're gonna to wanna to get some slightly stronger materials than flint bone or wood. So you're going to want to get this, which is the seared melter. And that is requires seared brick, as does this thing. And that is made with grout, which is clay, sand, and gravel. So there's two different types you can get. So we're going to put this seared heater down, and we're going to also put this seared tank down. And then we're going to put the melter on top here and here. So these are the two different types of melter that you can get. Now you notice in the left one here, we can see it's got a slot for coal. And in the right one, it's got a slot for lava. So I put some coal in here. We're cooking up some sand. You can see it there. There you go. It's turned into glass, as you might expect. And you can see that the temperature of this is 800 degrees centigrade. Now, if we did the same thing here, we can actually right click on the tank. It's going to put it in there. You can see the temperature here is 1000 degrees centigrade. So different, different materials will be able to burn at different temperatures. So I put down our casting table here, and if we take a seared faucet, it's going to take the glass out. And that is clear glass. Take a look at the clear glass. Pretty cool building material. You can put soul sand in there as well. It's going to get liquid soul. That's going to make soul glass. Put down this uh, basin here. Put the faucet on the side there. Okay, let's put some stone in this basin here. Now we're going to put some clay in here. You see, we'll actually pour it on top. And that is going to become seared stone. All right, let's put one piece of iron in here. And we're going to put a torch over here as well. So you can see one block of iron became one ingot, three nuggets. So I guess it became one in the third. So about 33% increase. We're going to pour it over a torch now. Let's have a look, see what happens. There we go. So there's a lot of recipes actually that are new. This is a cool one as well, probably for you Anthony Fantano fans. I can also craft sand here into sand casts. And this is generally how you're going to want to cast higher tier materials. So you'll notice the copper ore is actually added now by Tinker's Construct. And similar to iron, it is a tier two material. And say we wanted to do this, you'll notice that it will immediately cast a shape into the cast. And then we can just pour our copper or iron onto it. So when you're ready to move on to the proper smeltery, all you have to do is put your heater in here and pour some copper over it. And there's your smartery controller. 
can still make the casts here. So there you can see we've got a blank gold cast. And with this you can make the cast chest. There's also the more basic ones which are the, pa the part chest and the modifier chest. But as you move forward it, it's kind of cool to have these chests here like this. And again they're going to be tabbable. We also have the uh, copper cans, just made with a few pieces of copper. And there you go. Alright, so I built up a little smeltery here. Fill that with lava. See, temperature is a thousand. So we also have the chute and the drain. So the chute is for items, the drain is for liquids. Let's put in three copper and a sand. It's going to turn into molten tinker's bronze. So this is the first tier three material we're looking at. You can also at this point make the tinker's anvil. So you'll see there's a bunch of them, mainly tier three and four materials. It's going to have this is going to give you access to the excavator and the sledgehammer. Now if we wanted to get to the top of this smelter, what we could do is we could actually use this block instead, which is a new block, the seared ladder. So let's jump in. Let's take this uh, blaze spawn egg. And you'll notice as it dies, it's going to create a new liquid. So just to show you that this, this new tab here, the entity melting. Blaze will go into molten blaze and creepers. And uh, see a bunch of different mobs. Really cool interface as well. I guess you get milk from skeletons. So interestingly, the wither gives you liquid soul, which was the same as what we got from soul sand. So you see there's a bunch of molten blaze there. So the reason you might want to do that is because the hottest material you can get is molten blaze, which is 1500 degrees centigrade. Okay, so I'll put some blaze in there. You can see we've got a bunch of blaze in. But say we had another material, like some tinkers. You might want to filter it to see what can actually come out. So the way to do that is to use a seared duct. All right, so let's grab, we're going to grab some blaze here. And you can see there's a slot for the copper can. All right, let's talk about, let's talk about tiers then. So like I mentioned, Tinker's Bronze is tier three. But there's some more in tier three as well. So we've got pig iron. So pig iron is molten iron, blood, and clay. It's gonna get you pig iron. Needs see lava or blaze are fine. Rose gold, that's gonna be copper with gold, three to one ratio. Slime steel, it's gonna be iron, sky slime. We're gonna talk more about slime in a moment, and seared stone. Let's get you slime steel. We've seen the Tinker's Bronze. There's also Nahuatl. We've got Manyullin. So that's a combination of Cobalt and Ancient Debris. So you can get this from ne Netherite or Ancient Debris. We've got Hepatizon. There's a combination of Copper, Cobalt, and also Obsidian. 1400 degrees. Finally, the Queen Slime, which is going to be a combination of Cobalt, Gold, and Magma Cream. Now, shurikens are actually an early game weapon now. So it's made out of either flint or we've also got quartz. Let's look at the tier four materials, what they actually do in the part builder. So manyullin, deal, during combat you deal more and more damage every time you hit an enemy, so good for swords. Hepatizen, mining blocks increase your speed as long as you keep going, so good for pickaxes. And queen slime, consumes over slime instead of durability, but you need to have slime. Okay, so it's a sort of top tier slime tool, like a legendary slime ingot. We've also got these item frames as well, made out of manuelin. So just to have a look at the modifiers. So obviously reinforcements very good, silky cloth, so silky jewel is for silk touch. See these are for the expanders, are for increasing the width that you can mine out with your pickaxe. We've also got the creative ability jewel. That is not, not, not craftable there. See, we've got cactus spider eye. All the sort of things that you might expect to be modifiers. Slime crystals are back. You see there's a bunch of new materials as well. Ender slime. Thanks for watching.